So let's go through some key points to look for in this study. Starting here at the beginning, you can see the common femoral and saphenofemoral junction appear to fully compress. We move through the thigh, the femoral vein, all fully compress. We get to the popliteal, and we see that there's echogenic material within the vein here and here, and we notice that the sonographer has put an NC next to it to let us know that there's non-compressibility of this vein. And as we continue further into the calf, we can assume that uh, there's full compressibility within the calf veins. And we move back to the popliteal, and we notice that there's no color fill within the vein here. We see the echogenic material. We see no, no blood flow. So that's uh, definitely adding to our uh, conclusion of a uh, occluded vessel. We also uh, put a Doppler in to make sure that there's no trickle flow, and we don't see anything here along the baseline, so we can safely assume that this vein is fully occluded. We move back up the leg looking at the femoral vein, and we see that there's decreased flow here along the baseline, and there is decreased flow within the vessel itself, a color flow. So all of these are key indicators that uh, there is uh, occlusion. Common femoral vein as well has decreased flow. It doesn't appear to be uh, fully continuous. There are some breaks here, but that is definitely decreased flow throughout that vein. And we move on to the left side, and we see that the common femoral and saphenofemoral junction appear to fully compress. I would not be confused by this here. This is likely just the tissue beneath the vein as uh, the sonographer compresses. Uh, sometimes it can appear that that is vein, but we always have to make sure that we're uh, giving the best possible image. Maybe this could have been cleaned up a little bit, but you can see this looks like a, a patent lumen here, and there are some definite characteristics in the tissue that... Uh, could look like a clot, but this is compressible. We move further into the thigh and we see a partial compressibility of the femoral vein at mid. The distal femoral appears to compress. You see the vein here directly beneath the artery and uh, the compression picture. So there's a part of this art, uh, part of this vein that is fully compressible. And again, here on the left side, we also see a non-compressible popliteal. So we'll do our same uh, measures to check to see if this vein is totally occluded or only partially occluded. The calf artery and veins are not seen. So that's also important for a sonographer to put down that we don't make things up. If we can't see it, we can't see it. So we just state that on the image and in the report. We will look for uh, the Doppler here in the popliteal. You can see again decreased flow. So that, moving back, that uh, proves what we thought as a completely occluded vessel. We see that there is some flow identified within the popliteal. So there's a partial occlusion of this vein. However, no flow is identified within the femoral vein in the thigh and decreased flow in the common femoral.